Daisy out of the turtle. Uh, we've had this dude since before I could remember, and he's just woken up from his winter hibernation. Had a nice nap, buddy? Let's check you out, eh? Hmm. You can let go now. Now, for context, uh, we currently reside in this tiny 100-year-old cottage, but make up for it by having a pretty massive wild garden that we mostly like to keep on top of. The one exception to this is the turtle pond area. During winter, the last thing we want to do is disturb Yodel's big sleepy time, so this means that come spring, the place becomes a bit... Uh, yucky. Usually it's sold with some good old weeding, but this year there was a, a new eyesore. Why is there a tent in the town of Fondaria? Sure, why not? Free space? No, I was using it. Well, yeah, but... Got my car parts in it. It's good storage. Well, yeah, but it's, it doesn't look very nice. You want me to move it, don't you? Yeah. Well, tough. Not going. Oh, okay. It's ugly. Can we get rid of the tent? It's not very pretty. After emerging victorious from the battle of the tent, I realized there was like nothing there now. It's just a big empty spot. Ready for a pop garden? There's gonna be a pot there, and there's gonna be a pot there, and then a standy thingy so we can put a pot there. Oh. Hey. It's now time to go pot hunting. Luckily enough, I actually knew of a few pot shops in the area, so I went and bought a couple of. <laughs> Luckily enough, I actually knew of a few unused pots in our garden, so I went about pillaging them until there were enough to pass as a. as a, as a pot garden. about it. Look how cheap they are though. Yeah, these are ridiculous. I just don't want to introduce too many extra. No, go wild. Get a pot garden going. <laughs> this is a trap, isn't it? Oh boy. <laughs> obtained it was time to clean. First the surrounding area with some, you know, good old de-weeding, trimming and pruning. Then, once we had finished terminating most plant life around the pond, it was time to buy all the flowers from the flower shop from the flower peacock and also a tree. That's the one thing I wasn't going to skimp on. What do you guys think? You like it? It's a nice tree isn't it? But what about this? The pond gets too sunny in summer that causes way too much algae to grow in the pond. Before, we would chuck a shade over it or something, but that looks ugly. It looks ugly! I like to think of it as an investment. Next objective! I thought it'd be sick if the turtle pond had a rim of rocks around it. That way, not only would it be a nice sunbathing option for Yertel, but it would also stop all the plants growing in too much. So I went around grabbing any unneeded, relatively flat rocks I thought would work, which included visiting the tip and dumpster rock diving. Placing them around the pond, my dad sensed that I had no idea what I was doing, so I proceeded to just do it all for me. What I'm going to do, I've got all these old broken tiles that I'm going to get rid of, and what better way to get rid of them than make concrete out of them? You want to have a go? It's fun. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I did it. Come on. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh, this one. Oh, 
I'm not joking, this is kind of fun. <laughs> With the room completed, we found Yodel had a bit of a tough time getting out. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Oh. So he dumped some of the rocks and ledges to help him, and then put some duckweed in, which the fish promptly ate. After that, I procured some dirt from the dirt demon and filled up all the pots, uh, stole some extra flowers in the garden because it's free, watered the ducks and moved some forgotten statues because bunny. So yeah, I think that's it. Uh, now the place looks a little bit better. Yodel's happy, Godzilla and his girls are sated for now, and I got a pot garden! Like usual, I managed to completely underestimate how long this would actually take. Definitely have a newfound appreciation and respect for full-time gardeners, cause whoa. Uh, at least they're spared from them. Have you ever tried gardening with a duck? It's, it's kinda hard. Godzilla consecutively woke up choosing violence and constant demands for earthly sacrifices, and don't get me started on Muto and Mothra's digging sprees. No, I don't have anything. Every time I planted something new, that uprooted instantly. <laughs> but oh well, it's done, and now that Yaddle's been properly introduced to you nerds, uh, Minty can meet him on her continued adventure. Had a bit of fun fiddling with 3D at the start this time around to, to experiment on how to produce more realistic shadows in a more complex scene, so hope you enjoy. See you again soon, yeah? Did you really mean the words you said? Yeah. Cause the way I see it, you had every chance to walk away. Walk away. Yeah. You would be a perfect, but I don't wanna hurt no one. When all is said and done, just tell me that I'm worth it. Tell me I'm the only one. Coming back, do you think of me?